Serious question. What happens when the fear of AI usage in business and education takes over due to fear mongering from people afraid of change? The answer is people get falsely accused of using AI in no part thanks to bad AI detection. Take, for example, William Quarterman. He was a student attending the University of California, and he was accused of cheating on his history exam by his professor. This professor used an AI content detector to analyze his work, and he found it not human. In the detector, it scored as AI. The student said he hadn't used AI, but the professor actually gave him a failing grade and referred him to the university's office of Student Support and Judicial Affairs, marking him up for academic dishonesty. This poor student had to do a lot of work to clear himself. He appealed and was eventually cleared of these charges, but his whole family and himself are now activists against schools using AI to find alleged cheaters. So the truth is AI detection isn't a perfect science, and this is where most get it wrong. In fact, AI detection tools operate off of a probability of a body of text being AI, with no real way to guarantee that the content it's calling AI is actually written by AI. Sound confusing? Well, AI models are trained on humanly written bodies of text. We're talking billions of pages of text analyzed by these machines to learn how to think and create content like we do. According to a Stanford study, these AI models have gotten so good that on average, they fool 50 to 52% of humans into thinking that the content they wrote was actually written by a human. The question is, as these models get better, better and better at deciphering how humans write, which is what they're trained on, we're going to be at a point soon where it will be completely impossible to detect AI written content. We're really only at the beginning of AI advancement. We are in pioneering times and we're going to continue to see it unfold at lightning speed. Microsoft recently said, we believe that GPT-4's intelligence signals a true paradigm shift in the field of computer science and beyond. On the horizon is AGI. Microsoft believes that GPT-4 is showing signs of becoming AGI, which is artificial general intelligence. And let me tell you, this is an AI so advanced, it actually doesn't even need a human prompting it. What? It can solve novel and difficult tasks from mathematics to coding, to law, to vision, to medicine, to psychology, to marketing. And the performance and the output of AGI is close to human level. With AI advancing to the point of being indistinguishable from human work, will AI detection even matter? That's the question we need to ask. A model that is trained to mimic humans based on human output will only return false positives from AI detection. Think of that student at the University of California. But I'll tell you, this doesn't end in education. If you're in business, marketing, content at all, you've probably seen and been impacted by AI detection. If you've had something humanly written and it's come back as AI content, you're not alone. I went back into my content archives from 2012, long before ChatGPT, GPT-4, and all of its iteration. This was an SEO article that I had one of my first ever writers write for a client. I know it was 100% human, but when I ran this article through the AI detector that is right now claiming to be the most accurate at detecting human versus AI content, here's what it said. 50% human, 50% AI. So which is it? way off because this was 100% human. But this isn't surprising if we think back to how this works. AI is trained to mimic humans. If you try to identify AI based on the principles of how humans naturally write, you're going to have false positives, whether it was written by a robot or not. So where does that actually leave us in marketing? Well, it leaves us with what truly matters. In business, in marketing, in content, most substantial content is generated for the purpose of ranking in Google. 80% of all online traffic starts from a Google search. So we should really care about what Google thinks about AI content. And what do they think? According to an official article released by Google on the Google Search Central blog, as of February 8th, 2023, Google has said they don't care how the content is written as long as it helps the reader and provides value. I'm going to quote straight from the blog. Google's ranking systems aimed to reward original high quality content that demonstrates qualities of what we call EAT, expertise, experience, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. Our focus is on the quality of content rather than how content is produced. 
is a useful guide that has helped us deliver reliable, high quality results to users for years. So Google values content that meets their EAT requirements. They don't care how it was generated. But does AI content actually rank? The proof is in the pudding. In 2019, SEMrush conducted a study. They used GPT-2 to create blog articles for a website. The results, the blog ended up ranking for nearly 300 different keywords. We've also proven this with our own content at scale users like Troy Erickson of copywriting.org, going from a DR6 to a DR20 in just one month. That's a serious increase in domain authority. And he did it completely with content at scale written content. Even our own website, contentscale.ai, is built completely with content generated through our AI and humanly edited. We use our craft framework to edit our content and make sure that it satisfies Google's EAT requirements. And our domain authority is 69 in just a few short months. So does AI detection even matter? The answer is not really. It did matter before we knew Google's exact stance on AI written content. Now that Google has released clear guidelines and put it in writing that they do not care how the content was produced, even if it was AI written, as long as it helps the reader and builds value, there's much less of a concern around AI detection. But that doesn't mean that you should just generate content straight from AI and slap it on your site. That's a recipe for Google tanking your site down to zero. We recommend that writers use the AIO process that I've built. And the inner teachings of that is a framework I call craft for cutting the fluff, reviewing, editing your work, adding images and media to tell a story through pictures, fact checking to ensure accuracy, and my favorite trust building through personal story and tone. Watch this video next, breaking down our craft framework and showing you how we're able to write 100 articles per month for our site, following the craft framework and using content at scale to write the baseline content.